Hello everybody, I'm Herman the Jester. In today's show, we'll be exploring the letter A, the art term, artist, and Bailey will sit down and talk to Ron Worley from Kaleidoscope, and Bailey discovers art in Kansas City. We'll visit our friends over at Steven's house and see what kind of great artwork they can produce. I hope you enjoyed today's show, and hopefully, maybe, help us decode the riddle of the day. In a land far away, Herman and all his friends lived in Marylandia. On the day of the Jester Games, Herman called for the wizard Mandrid's help. There was an evil queen who spied on them for everything, and when the wizard cast a spell to hell, they all got swept away. Into my What are you doing, Herman? I'm painting a self-portrait. Why would you want to do that? Because I'm an artist. An artist, hmm? Oh, yes. My good friend Leo was one of those. But he keeps changing his mind. One day he's a scientist, the next day an inventor. The last time we met, he was a pesky chipmunk. Huh? I wish he would just make up his mind. Say, since Leo was an artist and he wrote his riddles with counter spells, perhaps we could decode the riddles and find a spell that could send us back home. Well, I can help with that. Let's go to your room and find these riddles. Hmm? Well, all right. <clears throat> oh, I know it's around here someplace. Check over there by the wizard's wax. I'll check over here by the toadstool cream. Wizard's wax? Where is that? When was the last time he vacuumed? What the? Not touching that again. Hey, find it. Well, oh, hey, Mandrew, watch where you're going. Well, all right. It could be under here. Mandred, I think I just stepped in the toadstool cream. <laughs> Not here. Oh, I found it! You did? What does it say? <clears throat> Artists find it when they least expect it. Artists make others feel it, and it's the most valuable art tool an artist can have, but never can touch. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. The riddle said that artists make others feel it. Well, if A is for artists, an artist is an art term. Let's explore the word and see if we can uncover any clues in it. I wonder if the key is in different languages. Artist in French is Le Artiste. Can you say Le Artiste? Très bien. Artist in Spanish is Artista. Can you say Artista? Fantastico. Artist in German is Kunstler. Your turn to say Kunstler. Say it good. Well, I don't think there's any hidden clues within the words. Do you? Do it in sign language. Hmm. What's that you say? You want me to do it in sign language. But I don't know any sign language. Oh, hello, fairy princess. How are you? in the sign for the letter A. Say, that's a good idea to try. But I don't know how to do any sign language. Ask the fairy what? princess. You want me to ask the fairy princess? Hmm, that's a good idea. Oh, fairy princess. Don't you look sparkly today? And your wings look fabulous. Hello, Herman. Well, hi, Fairy Princess. I heard you guys needed some help with some sign language today. We sure do. And you would like to learn the sign for the letter A? Yep. 
Great, I can help you with that. Let's learn it together. Hand up, palm forward. Fold your fingers down with the thumb to the side. It's the letter A. Now try it with me. Hand up, palm forward. Fold your fingers down with the thumb to the side. The letter A. Fantastic. That's pretty good. Did anybody find any clues? Anyone? No? Okay. Maybe we should try something else. Like what? There might be a clue in the sign for the word artist. Hmm, that'd be awesome. Let's learn the sign for the word artist. Try it with me. Hand up, palm forward, pinky finger up, and draw a line. Artist. Try it with me. Hand up, palm forward, pinky finger up, and draw a line. Artist. Fabulous. Any clues in that one, boys and girls? Anyone? No? Well, at least we learned the letter A and artists in sign language. We did, and we had fun. Sure did. Well, thanks for coming by. Sure. Anytime you need help, come knock on my bubble. Bye-bye. Dragon's eyes, dragon's tears. Whatever was far, let it be near. Oh dear, Mandred. <laughs> Herman, you seem sad. What's going on? Well, hi, Bailey. Well, Mandarin and I were trying to solve the riddle from his friend, the artist Leo. And I've tried to study the word artist in different languages. And the fairy princess signed the letter A and the word for artist. But I still don't have the keys to the riddle. Well, where's Mandarin? Last time I checked, he was looking for clues in his magic bag and practicing different spells to try to solve the riddle. Oh dear, I must have said the wrong spell again. Mandrid, what are you doing? Well, I was trying to do a spell that would decode the riddle, but it seems to have backfired on me. Well, read me the riddle. Maybe I know the answer to it. Artists find it when they least expect it. Artists make others feel it, and it's the most valuable art tool an artist can have but never can touch. Um, I don't think I know the answer to that one. Well, have you guys tried visiting Kaleidoscope? Well, no. No? But we can't leave the castle house, remember? No, you can't. But I can. I can go to Kaleidoscope and talk to Ron. Maybe he can solve the riddle by just answering some questions. But how will we hear and see what you do? I've got a solution. I will cast a spell on her that will let us hear and see everything she does. Abracadee, abracadoo, let us hear and see everything Bailey will do. Okay, I guess I'm all set then. I'll see you later. Oh wait, I guess you'll see me later. Wow, Mandarin, you did a spell and nothing blew up. See you later, eh? Not if I can help it. <laughs> oh no! Yes, my queen? I'm in need of your services. I need you to stop Bailey from ever reaching Kaleidoscope and helping them solve that riddle. As you wish, my queen. May I suggest a course of action for your plan? Very well. This presents a great opportunity for my two new recruits to prove themselves great dragon warriors. New recruits? Yes, my two nephews, Frannick and Blame. 
They're my sister's kids. I promised her I would take them underneath my wings and make them into great dragon warriors. Yeah! <laughs> dragon warriors? Yeah! I wonder what this does. It wasn't me, it was you! Was no! You! You! No! You! No! You! No! Enough! Listen, and listen well. Stop Bailey from getting to Kaleidoscope and solving that riddle, or it's the cauldron for both of you. <coughs> Those two dragonlings are your nephews? Yes. Hard to believe, isn't it? Well, they'll have to do for now. Come, Araman, let's watch your prized pupils in action. Bailey will be no match when faced with the might of two dragons. She doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> do you know who invented the incandescent electric light bulb? I'll tell you right after this. Welcome to What's Under the Hat, where contestants have to guess what's under the hat by clues Manny Wizardwig gives them. Here's your host, Manny Wizardwig. Let's meet our contestants. Hi, my name's Piersa. Hi, my name's Max. Hi, my name is Keisha. Okay, Keisha, let's start with you. Your clue is, I like to help painters paint. What's under the hat? Paintbrushes. That's correct. Yay! Very good. A hundred points for Keisha. Max, it looks like you're up next. Here is your clue. Artists use me to color with what's under the hat. Crayons! That's right. A hundred points for Max. Crayons is correct. Before we get to our last contestant, we'd like to say thank you to our sponsor, Wacky Wally's Wizard's Wands, where you'll never wander to find the right wand. Now, back to the show and the last contestant of the evening. Miss Pearson, here is your clue. When you add water to me, I will show you wonderful colors. What's under the hat? Um. Water pink. That is correct. A hundred points for Pearson. Well, it looks like everyone's a winner today. We'll see you next time with more clues and more contestants on What's Under the Hat. A man named Thomas Edison invented the incandescent light bulb. He was deaf in his left ear, and 80% deaf in his right ear. Mandred, that's the shiniest snow globe I've ever seen. That's almost as shiny as your bald head. Well, I do use some very expensive wizard's wax. Now, let's activate the magic snow globe. Kinical sticks! Whoa! That's the skinniest flat screen I've ever seen. Is that an HD? No, Herman, that's not for another thousand years, hmm? Hey, Bailey! Hi, Ron. Thanks for having me here. You bet. Welcome to Kaleidoscope. Thanks. Let me give you the grand tour. Oh, that sounds cool. Wow, this is so cool. I'm glad you like it. Well, the first thing you might want to do here at Kaleidoscope is grab a bag, because you're going to make a lot of artwork and you need somewhere to put it. Okay. Now you're the artist, so you're free to go where you want to and make what you want to. Okay. I was so excited to get started. I didn't know where to begin. 
kaleidoscope is full of art stations where your imagination can run free. So Ron showed me this really cool puzzle machine maker. I just put a drawing I made of Herman in the machine, and with a few turns of the wheel, I made my own puzzle. Well, Bailey, let me show you the old country house. This is where you can do some watercolor painting. Okay. Now, the project we have in here today is a hat. But you're the artist, so you decide. This could be alligator teeth or mountains, whatever you want. Have at it. And then we'll get it put through the machine to, be, to get dry. How about we do smiley faces? Oh, today? smiley faces. What's your inspiration there? Um, when people smile, it makes me smile, so that's, that's true. Fun. Whoa. <laughs> what was the inspiration for this room? Well, we looked at outer space and we thought, hmm, we would like to have a room like outer space. So we used our big old imaginations and put some robots in. You'll see Mr. Moon over there and some stars. So what exactly do you do in the outer space room? We have the glow-in-the-dark markers. And we also have over here, this is where we have melted crayons. We just melt them with light bulbs and then we put Q-tips in it and you can paint with melted crayon. That is cool. Great. Did I just hear that right? I wondered how they did that, so I asked Ron. So, this is just melted crown? That's right, regular old crown you color with. We just took some light bulbs and you can't see them, but they're under there, and we broke up some crown and put them in there and it melted, and presto, you can paint. That is really cool. Thanks. I've never known a place that could do that. <laughs> and you can also do some more painting right over here. Here's some great paper. Works for just about anything, especially a card. So if you like to make a card for someone. With all this freedom to be creative, I began to realize that inspiration was the key for an artist to make beautiful works of art. I was really inspired, and who wouldn't be here at Kaleidoscope? All this inspiration and creativity made me really thirsty. I know Kaleidoscope's around here somewhere. Yeah, I think it's right. Whoa! So what do you think kids like most about Kaleidoscope? I would say the freedom we give them. When they come in, they don't get a whole lot of instruction. They're free to just go where they want to and make what they want to. That's what being an artist is all about. Yeah, I've had friends who've come here before, and they're always leaving saying, the best thing about Kaleidoscope is the freedom, because it's one of the freest places to be in Kansas City. They got it. Yeah. You did. And this seems like a cool place to work when I'm older, so why do you like working here? I love working here. Every day is something different. Um, I get to see the artists, whatever their inspiration, make beautiful artwork and leave happy. So I know that staying green is really big nowadays. Mm -hmm. What does Kaleidoscope do to help stay green? Oh yeah, we were green before anybody else. Back, way back in 1969 when Kaleidoscope started, because that's what Kaleidoscope's all about. All the materials that we have is just scrap material. And in, especially in 1969, it just would have been thrown away. But then a man named Don Hall said, hey, you know what? That looks like great art material. Let's see what we can do with it. And some really brilliant people got together and came up with Kaleidoscope. That's, that's so cool. I, I really appreciate you having me here. Oh, I'm glad you could make it. Glad I mean, you enjoyed it. This is a really cool place. I love coming here, and it's a place where I can be creative whenever I want to be. Yeah, come back anytime. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Well, what is it, Mandred? Did you see a clue? No, I didn't see it. I heard it. Well, what did you hear? It's... It's... Mm -hmm. ah, I forgot. Mandrin, I think Ron and Bailey just said its inspiration is what helps artists create beautiful works of art. Oh, I remember its inspiration. That's the clue to solve the riddle. Hmm. Didn't I just say that? Oh, drats. Don't worry, my queen. We'll get them next time. And their little dog, too. You've been watching The Wizard of Oz again, haven't you? Um... No. 
Well, maybe a little. Hmm, now let's add the word inspiration to the riddle and see what counter spells will appear. Kinical sticks. Interesting. The codex has given me another clue. I'll have to go to mandridsriddles.com to find out how to use this clue. Make sure you get your parents' permission before going online. Hey, Herman. What are you doing? Oh, well, hi, Funky Mama. Hi. I'm just writing in my journal. Oh, that's awesome. I also write in my journal. You do? I do. Well, what do you write in your journal? Oh, I write songs or I write ideas that inspire me to write other songs. Hey, you know what? I just wrote a new song. Do you want to hear it? I sure do. Well, all right, here it goes. Gonna make something new. Just need some paper, toothpicks, and some glue.
Luke, I got you some more water, too. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Well, that works, too. And no, uh, Parker, what is this right here? My eyebrows. Hey, eyebrows. And what kind of shape are your eyebrows? What do they look like? An upside M. An upside M. So it's kind of like a letter. My name is Parker. This is my portrait. My name is Gorsh, and this is my self portrait. I'm Cameron, this is my self portrait. You want the pencils? Well, we got the water pencils. I'm ready for water pencils. And now you're going to back up. There you go. My name is Lucas, and this is my self portrait. Why did you can't put them on the book? That's not part of your portrait. Oh, Carolyn, put your name on it, please. I need to put another one. This is my self-portrait. Wow, that was some great artwork from our friends at Stevens House. Well, seeing all those inspired boys and girls create their self-portraits was my favorite part of the day. What was yours, Bailey? My favorite part of the day was going to Kaleidoscope and talking to Ron and learning about all the freedom and inspiration you have as an artist. What was yours, Mandred? Well, my favorite part of the day was how the fairy princess showed us how to sign the letter A and the word for artist. What was your favorite part of the day, Fairy Princess? My favorite part of the day was listening to Funky Mama perform her song, Inspired. That's great. It looks like we all had our favorite part of the day. How about you? And you? Well, we like that too. Well, thank you for watching our show today. We hope you enjoyed learning about being an inspired artist. See you next time.